Hi, welcome back to Brown Bell Broad. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Today is officially Christmas in beautiful Western Australia, and I am headed on a road trip to spend this Christmas 2020 with my beautiful Noongar family down south. Um, uh, Noongar people are, there are several tribes all across Australia, but this is just one Aboriginal tribe here in Australia, and it is near and dear to my heart because that's, you know, my first deep connection to Australia is through these beautiful women. So I keep talking about them, but I finally, I'll finally be able to share my conversations with them or even just like my experience. I don't know how I'm going to edit this or cut this or whatever, uh, but we'll just see. I've been really wanting to include Corinne in one of my, my, um, video so I'm excited about that I got up early I am dressed I got my Christmas dress on this is an ethical dress made by Opia I think it's from Australia um, and it's absolutely beautiful and I am getting ready to hit the road I just have to find a coffee shop that's open on Christmas Day I don't know how good that's gonna be but we'll, let's just go for it let's go for it <laughs> mission today and I've had a beautiful Christmas lunch with my sister Corinne. Hi. <laughs> Corinne, do you want to say like where you're, you know who your people are and Yeah of course. I'm Noongar but I'm also Nyamaji and I also come from the Pyong New Skin Group which is not far from uh, Ningaloo Coast which basically is Coral Bay and yeah so my heritage is quite vast but um, my home here is Bunbury mm. and this place is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. The best of both worlds, the, the bushlands but also the ocean and yeah, very happy here. Yeah, it's beautiful. And for people who don't know, they're not you may not be from Australia, you might be watching this. Corinne is indigenous to this land. <laughs> So that is what <laughs> someone <Hi. laughs> who's indigenous to <laughs> Australia yes. looks like. You guys call, come in all like shades and colors yes. and features. So yeah. Um, yeah, like she's the first friend, real close like soul sister I've had here. Ooh, there's a big old fly walk crawling <laughs> on my hand. I'm just trying to be That's confident, Australia. but yeah. <laughs> so Corinne's gonna talk about a bit of the history here. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy that. So yeah, this is Roland's Mission. It's uh, not far from Bunbury. It's about a 20 minute drive. And it's about a 20 minute drive from Collie. So it's based, tucked in Seven Hills. That's why it's called Seven Hills. And um, it's a beautiful place, but it does have a sad history. So this was where a lot of indigenous children were stolen and placed here. And um, yeah, boys and girls, a lot of them weren't able to see their families again. Some have different trauma, some are able to return and heal, some aren't, and I guess that's everyone's journey. Mm. And uh, yeah, for me, um, I came out here and did the Rollins Respect Program, and it was a great opportunity for me to learn about the local history here, but also to get back on country, and yeah, it's a great experience, but it's beautiful here. Yeah. I 
as you can see. Thank you for sharing that. This is like, this is my sister right here. <laughs> um, and she is so knowledgeable. Um, and I felt try. like <laughs> it's important that I include her in, in my vlogs whenever I visit because there's just so much that I've gained in terms of understanding about the country that I live on from here. So. Yeah, but thank you for listening. <laughs> you know, it's two, I think, sorry. Yeah, people have to want to listen and want to learn. That's but, but look how beautiful um, it is. Yeah, it's, it's really beautiful here. Even though the history is quite it's sad, you know, yeah. but if we go further back beyond, you know, I guess colonization, I know that the history is really rich with joy and happiness.